Good day everyone, my name is Maria Kondzielska and this is Poland Daily Culture. The Polish National Radio Symphony Orchestra is one of the most important cultural organizations in Poland. The director of the orchestra, Ewa Bogusmur, is our guest today. Thank you for coming to us from Katowice. It's a pleasure to be with you. But before we start the interview, let's listen to some music. Madam, the Polish National Radio Symphony Orchestra organizes three music festivals and one of them is music and science. And I would actually like to ask, do you force musicians to play and, and conduct science experiments in the same moment? That could be interesting. <laughs> but I don't think there would be musicians would have been that happy about that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Well, the, 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 the kind of basic thought behind uh, creating this festival was about um, creating context because I, I do uh, uh, believe in the fact that, uh, you know, music is not just in concert halls. We're surrounded by music, we're surrounded by culture. And, and I, I think if you're thinking about music, the voice is, is around us, but sometimes we just, we don't put the label that that's, you know, Mozart. <laughs> We just think of some sort of noise. For people who are not, um, if for them the, uh, to go to, um, to concert hall is not the first choice, sometimes you need to create this, this context and just to kind of show them there are connections between day life to, and you know, to whatever's happening around us and music. And I think music and science, that, that, that for us was the kind of um, great framework to talk about that. And uh, last year, that was the first edition of the festival and uh, was also almost like a, a pilot project. Because, of course, that was our, um, our imagination that people will like it <laughs> and uh, with our assumption. But we didn't know. Um, and uh, so we created this two days festival as a pilot project. We concentrated the theme of, the, of this first edition was, uh, was the space. And so, we, for example, we just asked uh, the public what they think, whether there is any sound in space, and if it is, what kind of sounds, you know. And you can talk about sound waves, you, you know, you can really talk in many ways, you go in many places and look at the music from different angles. So we, we do have uh, concerts, um, uh, because we still we have the orchestra, so we wanted to use uh, our orchestra. But we had lectures, we had a workshop for kids. Uh, we had very intensive two days, thinking that it's, uh, for different groups. So we had for some for small kids, for more adults, uh, for teenagers, teenagers yes, uh, and for some, and for families. And the response uh, was surprising even us. That was such a great response. Uh, people really love that. If When we asked them, because we thought, okay, it's a pilot project, so we need to, in a way, measure. So we need to do a survey. Otherwise, again, we would be guessing what they thought and why they came. We asked, we did a survey, we asked uh, what they expected. And apparently the main, um, main answer was that they wanted to experience something new. And the, the second biggest surprise was that 30% of people who, um, who filled the, uh, the questionnaire was in NOSP for the first time. 30%, exactly. And we didn't have enough time to do national uh, promotion. So basically we thought only about, you know, kind of, th we thought locally. So if now if you think that locally we still have so many people who didn't, didn't come? Who didn't come maybe before. they were intimate. Intimate. Uh, exactly. Before. Maybe there was a kind of you know the barriers for some reason. Maybe they just thought that it's not for exactly. them. Uh, so we just thought, okay. So it's really a good way to encourage people who to to come and visit us, just to almost like open the door 
for, for the public. So now we close to announce the second edition, which will be in June next year and we will be announcing in, in March. And what I can say now, uh, I can say what the topic is going to be. So we will be now uh, looking at the um, artificial intelligence. We will be looking at, uh, at algorithms. Is there any artificial intelligence in me? You would be surprised. The first piece composed by the computer was actually in 1960s. 1960s, the first piece. I've seen myself one thing. I piano would just place for you. Touching by itself, by itself. Yeah. but it is an old normal piano, yeah, 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 yeah. and it plays, and it sounds very, mm, very true. Yeah, very intriguing. <laughs> so it will be more, um, more things like uh, like that. Uh, we, uh, I don't want to say too much about the program because we haven't announced it yet. We do think that it's going to be uh, very interesting and. And I think what we really would like to achieve through that sort of projects is just to raise curiosity. Because I do think that, uh, that curiosity is something which almost like push us to be more creative, more innovative, just to ask questions. And I think that's the, the, the role of, of, of the culture, that's uh, just pushing us a little bit farther out of our comfort zone. This festival, it's, I think, is going to be like that. Uh, very kind of, I want people to have good time, you know, be happy to, to come and spend the time uh, surrounded by music and by science. So that's going to be a good one. <laughs> I think it's a grand punchline just to say that music and science, it seems they go hand in hand. And if you would like to see the proof for it, Go and visit the Polish National Radio Symphony Orchestra and check out their festival, music and science. And thank you for watching Poland Daily Culture.